スと東京。Coming in at 10th place, we have Snowy LP. Snowy LP has been able to achieve many things this year, such as sending many respectable top lists on maps such as Eden with a hidden double time FC, a Sans Fan Top Dip hidden double time choke, 3 3 mod FC on Pedoro, a choke on Sans compilation with double time, and many more. It's safe to say that Snowy Amiability is absolutely insane. On top of the fact that he is now the number one relaxed player on Akatsutsi, Akatsutsi, I can't say the name of it, whatever. So he has earned the top 10 spot, and he has definitely deserved the top 10 spot for this year's OSU New York Top 20. Yensis has become a household name ever since the insane scores he would set during the New York Draft Cup. This guy could do it all. In 2023, he showed off his mastery of aim control and reading, setting numerous incredible scores in solo play. 
Starting with his reading skill, he set an amazing first ECFC on Back to the Gate, gapping the entire Mida Top 50 leaderboard. Recently, he set an incredible ECFC on the OG United map set, with an accuracy matching even the best reading players at 99.70%. Now what do you get when you mix reading and aim control? You get his full combo score on cycle hit. Being number 7 on the easy leaderboard, he showed us that even cut patterns could not stop him. However, Easy Mod isn't the only thing in his arsenal. This year he would also set the first flashlight FC on Pure Ruby, which many people haven't even attempted due to the cut streams. That's not to say he can only play Gimiki maps though, because he's also set the 9th FC on Daria Map Closure. While his accuracy on that play may not be what you would expect from him, he gaps everybody in the combo department. Yensis is surely one of the most unique New York OC players, and we are very excited to see what he has in store for us in 2024. Despite the ranking to four digit from last year, Opixay is still one of the most prolific and efficient players to grace Osu game. His skill in the tech playstyle knows no bounds, and despite being known as such, he's still a fertile player in other skill sets. He won NYSS at one time. That was crazy. Coming in at number 7 is Altrax, a remarkable aim enjoyer. One of his best scores this year is his DTFC on Sabotage, with his number 3 on the DT leaderboard worth 682 PP. One missing monster and remote control with 99% act highlight that his DT consistency is not to be underestimated. Some of his Nomad aim plays include a top of the MFC, a perfect neglect FC, and number 5 on Shipwreck. He has also 6 missed top of the M with HR, and obtained the second HRFC on going back to square 1. Although he is most known for his aim plays, Altrax has expanded his skill sets and rounded out from an aim one trick. His most impressive tech plays this year include S ranks on Hypersonic and Halgo's Trap, as well as 1000 combo on Illegal Legacy. He has also demonstrated his streaming ability with a 99.5% ACK FC on Tempest worth 618 PP, and improved at speed with an S rank on The Fool and a 1 miss on Monochrome Voice. Altrax has also made USC and was a top performer on ADS and Kanyo teams and continues to be one of the best players of his skill set in New York.
Ryan, also known as Argo, has long been known as a high skill cap and proficient tournament player, dating all the way back to the start of 2021. Since then, he's only improved and broadened his skill set to the point of being a key contributor to the 4WC USA winning team, as well as this year's New York USC team. Give him a map with double time and you'll be sure to see him towards the top of the lobby. A few of his notable scores this year include a double time SS on 8-Bit Princess, a 1200 combo hard rock score on Let Me Hear, and a 1400 combo run on Sakura no Uda sped up version. As someone that now resides in New York by virtue of his higher education, we are sure to see even greater tournament performances in the coming years as he continues to improve and push his overall skill cap and consistency even further. Twilight, Night Evil, Calvin Huang. No matter what you know him by, they all refer to the Goat of Brooklyn. Twilight is a tournament player known for his immaculate consistency and improvement in 2023, earning himself two profile badges as a result of his performance in various tournaments. Twilight made a name for himself this year by playing against high-ranking tournament players, and not only would he match them, he gapped them. During Berlin Donor Draft, where the finals and grand finals played were 7.4 and 7.7 .7 stars respectively, Twilight would often top score maps, winning the points for his team and bringing them to a second place finish. Last, but definitely not least, we have the 4 digit World Cup. Twilight was a newcomer to this already established team. With such good players, you'd think that they would completely overshadow him, but that just wasn't the case. Twilight became the backbone of his team with his consistency, supporting his team through most of the lower stages. When the grand finals came, his team pulled off an exhilarating 7-6 victory on the tiebreaker, earning himself his second badge. But don't let his insane tournament performance take away from his solo score. This year, he set numerous top plays on a variety of skill sets, with an HDDT choke on remote control, HRFC on My Heart Will Go On, and an HD choke on Furiosa. It doesn't matter what you throw at him, you will be able to play it. In 2023, Nemrose made a name for himself, not just in New York, but also in the greater OSS speed community, thanks to his incredible raw speed and stamina grind, catapulting him from rank 3000 at the start of the year to closing out 2023 at a lofty rank 330. In New York, his comfort at high VPN tapping is unrivaled, and he has put these skills on full display with a myriad of upper echelon speed scores. In February, he set his first 600 on Atakai Dakada with DT, but just two months later in April, he set his first 700 on Dark Flight Dreamer, and then, in August, setting his first 800 with a 1k PP choke on Yami no Mahal Shogo DT. And he didn't stop there, continuing his year of shredding with an FC on Eyes of Devil Elliot with DT, a gauntlet of 300 BPM tapping, and an incredible 94% accuracy on the 360 BPM lunatic diff of everything will freeze DT, rivaling even the best speed players of all time. But don't let his speedy solo play fool you. Though he doesn't participate in tournaments often, that didn't stop him from FCing Snow Goose DT in match for 700 PP and acquiring an invitation to the 16 player speed battle royale to compete alongside OSU speed legends like Garrison, Okolabed, and many more. Overshadowed but far from underdeveloped are his technical skill sets, ranging from high BPM aim control to AR8 reading gimmick. With his incredible mechanics and strong technical foundation, as well as an emerging willingness to improve in tournament play, Nimrod is a player with insane potential waiting to be further explored in 2024, as long as he hasn't too busy playing gacha games.
Whether you're a veteran player or someone who started OC recently, you have heard of the name Freddie Benson. He was a previous rank 1 player, known for his insane DT aim skill. While he ended up taking a break from the game in 2021, he made an impactful return in April 2023. Although there was a 2 year gap, his skills did not deteriorate at all. Within the first month of coming back, he set two 900 PP scores on Sunglow and Sakura no Zendia, showing the world he still had it in him to push through into the top 50. Not long after, on his birthday, August 9th, he set the first New York 1k PP score on Wizard's Tower with an astonishing 99.02% accuracy. Throughout the months of August and September, Freddy would show off his talented aim and newly acquired speed skill by setting six more 1k PP scores on maps like Ray, United, and Dear Brave. But the world was not ready for what happened next. On September 6, he S ranked Celerium for a 1.1k, but he wasn't satisfied. He knew he could FC it. Only two weeks later, Freddy would fix his score and set the New York PP record with a 99.29% FC or 1230 PP. 2023 had been a great year for Freddy Benson with his climb from rank 76 to a peak of 15. We're all looking forward to what he can accomplish in 2024. Pess, formerly known as Rhythm Game, or also known as the Cutstream Hater Guy, has had an incredible year. Going from a pretty decent 4-digit tournament player with one singular badge to now dominating 3-digit tournaments and earning himself 6 badge tournament wins, or 7 if you want to count that, one slightly controversial gimmick tournament. And he has also played the United States Cup for New York in his first year in the state. He even managed to set a 634 PP score in a match on Hails from the Edge with Hardrock in Renta's Timeless Spyro. But Pass did not only improve his turning and consistency skills, he also managed to become almost a perfect all-rounder. Some might even argue that cut streams are his only weakness. In early 2023 you would have been laughed at if you said that he would FC Entrance by Ice Cult, the insane old reading map at 6.6 stars. Sadly he is now BWS out of every rank restricted tourney ever, and he's now first forced to play open rank tournaments. But maybe that helps and if he keeps up his motivation and he maintains his improvement rate, he might even become a top top player, you know like USA or WC player type shit. Who knows? Only time will tell. Well, he can be proud of what he's done in 2023 and I'm very much looking forward to what he's gonna do in 2024.
What is up, New York? This is Valens, and I am proud to come back to the OSU community to announce your number one New York OSU player of the year, once again, Takeda. This year was a big year for Takeda, as he continued to show his tournament prowess with multiple strong performances, both at Corsais and OWC, as well as setting impressive scores in solo with a push in his speed skills. He started off the year with a Sunglow HDDT FC that set the New York PP record at 965 before continuing his tournament rampage with a top 4 finish in Corsair's Closed. Additionally, he took home another victory for the USA in a nail-biter OWC against South Korea. In tournament, he continued his legacy as one of the best HD and tech players of all time, with a near FZ against South Korea on Fremont 4 in the Grand Finals, with just one miss and a score of nearly 970,000 with hitting. Some notable other scores from Solo include an HD3 miss on 5 Villagers' loved version of Hype, taking the number one spot and maintaining it to this day, as well as an impressive speed score with a 4 miss HDDT choke on World's End Girls Rondo remix from Meg. Overall, Takedo has once again done what Takedo does and performed absolutely out of this world on pretty much every skill in the game, and I'm sure all of New York is excited to see what our king has in store for us next year. Like you see